everyone, Christina here. Welcome to day 23 of the holiday card series for 2016. Today I'm using the Christmas Botanical Stamp Set from Memory Box, as well as some Chestnut Roan Color Box Chalk Ink. Starting out with some Nina Desert Storm cardstock. This is the 110 pound version. I will be cutting this down later, so I really don't need to score it, but um, I just wanted to show you that that's, that's where it was when I started the card. I now have a scratch piece of, or a leftover piece of some Schoolhouse Red cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. And I've prepped the bottom of that cardstock with an anti-static powder tool, and then stamped the Tis the Season stamp from the stamp set in Versamark ink. I coated that stamping in Hero Arts wine embossing powder, and then heat set it until it was melted. So now I'm back to that craft cardstock, and I'm stamping the wreath image from the stamp set in Chestnut Roan Chalk Ink. I really love the combination of Chestnut Roan Chalk Ink with this craft cardstock or Desert Storm cardstock. It's been my favorite for years and years and years, and if you've been watching my videos since I started on YouTube, I've had an obsession with this, or used to have one years ago, and I just recently was looking through my blog and came across a card that I made a long, long time ago where I stamped an image in this ink on craft cardstock and then colored in areas of the image with a white gel pen. And I thought, I really love this technique. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's so simple and easy. It's just a matter of coloring. And I thought it would make a really fun Christmas card. So that's how the, this card started. I just thought it would be fun to color in all of these little tiny areas. So some of the more challenging areas were the solid flower petals, but I got around that by first coloring the outer edge of each petal and then kind of filling in the center. And I'll show you this a couple more times as um, I walk you through this portion of the video. As the other part was uh, these leaves that have lines on the inside. So I basically just tried to be really careful and go around all of those lines, avoiding them, as well as um, on these two leaves that were really lots of lines, I just did one stroke in between each of those brown lines, and that was just enough to fill in the leaf. And even though it's not perfectly colored in, it's fine by me, and it's close enough. This flower here at the bottom was kind of the same idea. I just did really simple strokes in between all of those lines. So here's where my card kind of veered off in a different direction. I had this greeting that I'd stamped and I didn't like how it looked beneath the wreath. Just wasn't sure what I was going to do about it. So I decided to cut down that cardstock that had the wreath on it. And I'm going to make this as a different element that goes on top of a card. So I'm adhering the, the red greeting strip to the very bottom of this rectangle. And I, I used some Tombow Extreme Adhesive for that. And then I'll take my scissors and trim off the excess off the edge. And then I'm going to take my corner chomper, I haven't used this in a while either, and I'm using the quarter inch rounder and I'm going to round just the two top corners of this piece. So my card base is made out of some Nina Solar White. This is the 110 pound version. And I've scored that at five and a half to create a top folding card. I use that same white gel pen to add some dashed lines around the sides and top of that Nina Desert Storm panel. And this is just to bring in a little more of that white around the outer edges and make it look a little bit more finished. I'll then do a some twine around the card base. So I'm going to wrap the twine around the front of the card. So I'm cutting a really small slit in the fold of the card with my scissors. And then I can take some twine. This is some twine from Doodlebug. Um, this is their Christmas pack. They've I have, they had it a couple years. I'm not sure if they still sell it, but if they do, I'll link it down in the supply section below or some similar twine. I wrapped that through three times and then tied it into a bow and just kind of moved it around and made sure that it was in the right position, including sliding the bow down a little bit so that it didn't interfere with my panel that I'll be adhering. So I'm going to adhere the panel using some foam adhesive. I just put some foam strips on the back and then press that down onto the front of the card. And that finishes the card for today. 
Super simple and easy. I think you could change up the red and use green or blue or other colors and it would be really pretty as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back very soon with day 24.